Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 3 Chapter 3 Consumer Mathematics. In this chapter, you will learn 3.1 Savings and Investments and 3.2 Credit and Debt. In this video, we will learn 3.2 Credit and Debt. Credit is contractual agreement between the supplier, bank or financial institution, and the consumer. Postponement of payment facility provided by the supplier to the consumer. Debt is amount that has been borrowed but has not been settled. For credit is used credit card. While debt is used loan, loan has flat interest and interest on balance. Manage credit and debt wisely. Credit card users need to settle the debt payment within the period stipulated by the bank to enjoy interest-free period. Pay the outstanding balance listed on the credit card statement. The minimum amount paid by the credit card holder provides opportunity for the bank to charge interest on the balance and may also incur late payment charges. Pay within the cash discount period of debts. Advantages and Disadvantages of Credit Cards Advantages Credit card holders can enjoy a reward system in the form of cash rebate or point redemption. Does not require us to carry a lot of cash. Easy and efficient payment method. Convenience of buying goods and services online. Disadvantages Incur charges such as annual fees, finance charges, Interest, cash advance interest charges and late payment charges. Overspending. Some stores do not accept credit payment. Eligibility for applying a credit card. 21 years old and above. Minimum income of RM24,000 per annum and meets other requirements set by the bank. Requires salary slip or supporting documents. Impact of minimum payment and late payment on credit card use. Credit card holder will receive a financial statement for the credit card monthly. Statement contains credit limit, statement date, latest amount, minimum payment amount type of charges. Pay the statement balance immediately so that no financial charges are incurred, or pay an interest-free period, usually 20 days from statement date. To enjoy this privilege every month, cardholder must pay the total balance of credit card statement, or make minimum payment an interest-free period. Minimum payment is usually 5% of total balance of credit card statement, or RM50. If there is still a balance of the latest amount, upon expiry of the interest-free period, a financial charge, interest, will be improved on the balance, based on daily rate. Most banks charge an annual interest rate of between 15% and 18%. If no payment made within interest-free period, then minimum late payment charge of RM10 or 1%. Of total outstanding balance as of statement date will be charged. Example And Sikh Ahmad received his credit card statement for January 2014 from Bank Sentosa. The statement shows that N. Sikh Ahmad has a current amount, outstanding balance, of RM5200. It is assumed that Ensikamad did not use his credit card in February. A. What is the minimum payment to be paid? B. If he only makes a minimum payment for January and the statement date is 15 days, from the expiry date of the interest-free period, what is the balance shown in his February statement? C. If he missed his payment for January. What is the balance shown in his February statement? Answer A. Current amount, RM5200. 5% of current amount equals 5 one hundredths, 
times RM5200 equals RM260. This amount exceeds RM50, thus the minimum payment to be paid is RM260. B. Outstanding Balance RM5200 minus RM260 equals RM4940. Period subject to financial charges equals 15 days, equals, 15365, year. Interest charged equals RM4940 times, 18 one hundredths times, 15365, equals RM36.54. Current amount, outstanding balance. In February equals RM4940 plus RM36.54 equals RM4976.54. C. Outstanding balance, RM5200. Period subject to financial charges equals 15 days equals 15365 year. Interest charged equals RM5200 times, 18 one hundredths, times, 15365, equals RM38.47. Late payment charges equals, 1 one hundredth, times, RM5200 plus RM38.47, equals RM52.38. Current amount in February equals RM5200 plus RM38.47 plus RM52.38 equals RM5290.85. Calculate loan repayment and installment. Loan interest, flat interest rate, interest on balance, total loan balance. Amount deducted from the initial down payment plus the amount of interest charged. Monthly installment, total amount paid by the borrower to the bank every month to settle the balance of the loan. 1. Flat interest method. Interest rate will be calculated on the original loan amount, over the term of the loan, amount of interest charged per month is fixed. Example. Mrs. Lim bought a car worth RM80,000 on credit. She pays 10% down payment and the balance is payable in installments over 6 years. The flat interest rate imposed by the bank is 4% per annum. What is the amount of repayment and monthly installment payable by Mrs. Lim? Loan amount equals purchase price minus down payment. Equals RM80,000 minus RM8,000 equals RM72,000. Total repayment, A equals P plus PRT. Loan, PR equals interest rate. T equals time in years. Total repayment equals RM72,000 plus RM72,000 times 4 one hundredths times 6 years equals RM89,280. Monthly installment equals RM89,280. 72 months equals RM1,240 per month. 2. Interest on balance method. The amount of interest charged each month on the loan depends on the amount of the loan balance for that month. Amount of interest for each month will be reduced. Priority is given to settle the interest month in that month, then balance used to settle the outstanding balance of loan amount. Example. Ben Sikharit obtained a personal loan of RM10,000 from Bank Mulia with an interest rate of 6% on the balance. The repayment period is 7 years while the monthly installment is RM150. Calculate total amount of interest payable by NSIC rate for first two months. First month, first month interest equals RM10,000 times 6 one hundredths times 1 twelfth equals RM50. Loan at the end of first month equals RM10,000 plus RM50 equals RM10,050. Balance after first installment equals RM10,050 minus RM150 equals RM9,900. Second month, 
balance of the loan at beginning of second month, RM9900. Second month interest equals RM9900 times 6 one hundredths times 1 twelfth equals RM49.50. Loan at the end of second month equals RM9900 plus RM49.50 equals RM9949.50. Balance after second installment equals RM9949.50 minus RM150 equals RM9799.50. Total interest for first two months equals RM50.00 plus RM49.50 equals RM99.50. Advantages and Disadvantages of Loan Payment Advantages Repayment of vehicle loan in monthly installments, allows Amira to own the car. Does not require a lump sum payment. Disadvantages The car will be repossessed, if installments are not made. The total amount of repayment is high, due to interest charged on the loan. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below.